Hi, my name is Pastor Tim Tyler, and I want to answer the question, what must I do to be saved? Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 says this, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So what does that mean? To believe in your heart is essential and the first order. What are we believing? That God raised Jesus from the dead. Well, why did Jesus die? Jesus died on the cross for my sins and your sins, the sins of the world. God's wrath was poured out upon Jesus for our sin and judgment was met at the cross so that you and I would not be judged. That's the grace of God. So we believe Jesus died for our sins and was buried. He rose from the dead, proving that God justified our sins through Christ. And now Jesus lives forevermore to give us that eternal life. Once believing that in our heart, we therefore must confess it with our mouths. The Bible says that when our heart is full, or believes something, we speak it, we confess it. So it's more than just a belief system, it is a life. And so we must confess that Jesus is the Lord of our life, and we have repented and submitted to his authority. That's what salvation is. So I'd like to walk with you through this prayer. Let's take it one step at a time. Let's believe first in our heart, number one, Jesus died for my sins. Secondly, confess we are a sinner. Lord, forgive us of our sins. We believe you died for them and we repent. Then, knowing this, we ask God to put his Holy Spirit within us. Now that your blood has cleansed me from sin, let your spirit birth new life in me, that I may be born again, born from above by the Spirit of God. I now give my life to you, Lord, and promise to live according to your ways and dictates, that I may obey Jesus as my Lord and Savior. So I surrender my life to you, to follow you all the days of my life. In this confession and belief, we will now commit our lives to Christ to obey and follow Him. That is what secures salvation, and now it will manifest and live out in your life. I would encourage you to read and study the Word of God and pray daily to the Holy Spirit's power in your life. If you will follow these, get into a local church where you can be baptized to publicly declare your faith in Jesus Christ. This will help secure who you are as a child of God. God bless you.